One way to ensure that your blog gets good search engine rankings is to make sure that it has a sitemap. And there are various ways that you can create a sitemap for your WordPress blog, but I'm going to show you one of the simplest ones in this video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a plugin to create a sitemap for my site and to update it every time a new post is made to my blog. Now the plugin I'm going to use is this one, the Google XML Sitemaps plugin. And you can get it from the WordPress.org website or you can install it from the dashboard. Now one thing I do have to say about this is that it is not compatible with the multi-site feature in WordPress. So if you have that enabled on your blog then this plugin is not going to work for you although you can try out the new beta version uh, that they are um, talking about here on the main page. Uh, I don't have the multi-site feature on my WordPress blog so I'm going to go ahead and install it. So we come over here to plugins and click here where it says add new and then I'm going to search the plugins and I'm going to put in Google XML sitemaps and click on search plugins and this is the one that we want and at the time that I'm recording this video it's version 3.2.6 and click here on install now and click on OK and there we go it's installed so I'm going to click here to activate the plugin And there we go, plugin is activated. Now I need to configure it. So if I come down here to Google XML sitemaps and then come here to settings, you can actually just leave it all at the default settings if you wish but you can also customize it as well. Uh, we're going to leave it here, write a normal XML file which is your file name and this is very important so leave that checked and you can also write a gzipped file as well. You will want to make sure that your sitemap is rebuilt if you change the content of your blog you can also can enable this one here manual sitemap building via get request personally I would leave that one blank now update notifications obviously you want it to notify Google about updates for your blog and likewise Bing ask.com and you also want to add a sitemap URL to the virtual robots.txt file and this is actually very important in some of the advanced options here when you're just starting out if it's a new blog you don't really want to limit the number of posts in the sitemap um, new posts will be included first if you've got a blog that's been established for a while and you've got you know three or four hundred posts on it then you really don't need to have that indexed every single page because some of the older posts aren't really going to be relevant so you can insert a number of posts in there if you wish. Uh, exactly how many is something you really want to simply use trial and error to find out. Uh, you certainly want to have it build the sitemap as a background process and this is very helpful because otherwise you're going to have to wait while it builds the uh, sitemap every time you save a post so that can be a bit annoying so if you have it build it in the background then things will work a lot quicker. 
and you can see all these other pages here which uh, for the purposes of the demonstration I'm just going to leave at the default settings. Again you also got some things that you can either alter or change or leave alone. Um, the post priority I'm going to leave it at the default comment count and automatic detection of the uh, sitemap.xml file. I'm going to leave that at the default settings as well. In your sitemap content um, again you you want to include your home page obviously and the posts. If you have categories then you want to include those and if you have authors uh, that post regularly on your blog you might want to include those pages as well. and include the last modification time certainly. If you're going to exclude certain items, now for example if you have a category that you really don't want indexed if it's uh, a lot of private posts that are password protected and so on then quite frankly you wouldn't want those included in your sitemap so you would uh, include those in here. I don't have any so it's blank and the only category I've got is uncategorized so I want to leave that included so leave all that blank. Then we've got the change frequencies and as it says this is a hint and not a command but you should alter that depending on the frequency that you make your posts. Your home page should be crawled every day. Posts Personally, I would set that to weekly. Likewise, the static pages. Categories, if you don't add categories very often, then you could make that monthly. And the current archive, and this should be the same as your home page, so we keep that as daily. Older archives, this is set to yearly. You might want to change that after you've had your blog for several years. And then again, also the priorities. I'm going to leave those at the default settings and then click on update options. There we go, the configuration has been updated and saved. Now I need to build my sitemap because this is the new installation. So when I click here, there we go, it's now built the sitemap and it's telling me the date, this is the date that I'm recording this video and when everything was done and as you can see here it took 0.54 seconds so it is very very quick. It is a free plugin but if you do use it on a regular basis they do like you to make a donation via PayPal. But there we go, that's how you can set up a sitemap on your WordPress blog.